Hey, what's up? It's Dave here. Let's talk about force sensitive resistors. So these are great at telling you whether or not there is a pressure or external force being actively applied. So normally they have a high resistance, almost like an open circuit when nothing is on them. But as soon as you apply a force to them, their resistance drops. Now, when it comes to what type of sensor to get, you have a couple of choices. You can find these generic sensors made by a company called Interlink and they work pretty well. Another option is to use a generic material called Velostat. Velostat you can find commonly in packaging of sensitive electronic components, and they are manufactured to be electrically conductive, and like other force sensitive resistors, their resistance changes when pressure is applied to it. Personally, I like Velostat because it's cheaper to obtain in large quantities, and you can also find Velostat in this sort of paper form. So here's a sample circuit that I use to trigger an LED using a force sensitive resistor. The main thing to recognize is that I create a voltage divider with the force sensitive resistor and feed that into a comparator, in which I compare that to another stable voltage. Because a change of resistance will affect the change of voltage, the comparator will output either high or low, depending if something is applying force to the resistor. So there you have it, a quick rundown of force sensitive resistors. If you found this video helpful, just give a comment down below and a thumbs up just so I know. And if you want to see more stuff that I post in the future, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.